Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to execute trades on the Quick Screen Trading QST trading platform. Now, first and foremost, in my opinion, the most straightforward method of actually executing a trade is through the order entry tab on the top left here. Just left click order entry and then scroll down to show order ticket. This can also be accessed by clicking on F6 on your keyboard. Now for me, this did open up in my separate monitor there. It may be a bit different for you. Let's expand our platform real quick and just get it back to full screen. So as you can see here, we do have the ticket entry window. Again, this is pretty straightforward. It may be a bit smaller if it's opening up in another window or whatever the case may be. If you need to increase the size of it, just right or left click in that bottom right corner there, you'll get this little um, diagonal arrow symbol. This allows you to expand your frame here and once we increase it to the size we like, everything becomes viewable. Now this is pretty straightforward again, Select your trading account in the top left. From there, if you'd like, you can use quick entry. It's actually very easy to use once you're a bit familiar with the actual process and the configuration of doing so. Let's place an order real quick to show you how this works before just mindlessly entering in random numbers here. First, you'll need to select one of the available buy or sell side. Um, you'll just need to toggle one of these on. As you can see, you can place multiple buy or sell orders at one time. So keep that in mind. You'll just need to enable them. So as you can see, as we enable it, it's pretty cool. This quick entry order starts to fill itself out. Being that we are on the buy side, this represents B1 because it is a buy of a quantity of one. As you can see, because we have both enabled, it's thinking that we're going to place two trades at once. That's uh, separated by that dash there. Let's continue on. So just for now, we'll stick with the one quantity. Next up, you'll need to enter in the contract. So you can just type that in there or use the symbol finder. We know what we want. We're going to trade the ESU19. As you can see, once we fill that out, the quick entry starts to fill itself out as well. If we were trading options, we can enter in a strike price or a call or put or a close. We're going to just stick with a standard futures order here. We're going to stick with a market order. So you can um, determine which type of order you'd like to place in the bottom right here. As you can see, limit is the default. We're going to stick with market. We can change our session if we need to. We're going to stick with electronic for now. And then you do have your lifetime. So again, this is your order duration. You have day. Good to cancel, good to day, fill and kill, fill or kill. And then you have these two others. So if you want, we can go ahead and place our order now. Being that we are trading the market, we don't have a specified price, and so it'll fill immediately for us. And as you can see, this is the parameter setup. These, this is exactly how you would set it up if you wanted to use the quick entry order rather than fill out these things manually. Again, you see everything highlighted in bold here is exactly what you'll need to fill out. Once you're ready to proceed, you can click this buy button. And again, whatever you put in this last available screen here is not set in stone because you do have one more chance to configure everything as you need to. So if the market's changing and you want to change your order type for whatever reason, you have the ability to come in here, select a new order type, change your price it's going to be placed at, change a quantity if you need to, and then press yes to enter in your order. We're going to stay simple and keep it as a market order for now. Let's click yes. You do have one more order review window, so keep that in mind. Once you do click OK, your order will submit. Now, it's worth mentioning that you can also open up the order ticket window just through this toolbar on the left. If you don't see it, you may need to scroll up or down for the available frames on the platform. As you can see, order ticket is one of them, and it'll open it up directly into the workspace that you're working with. Keep in mind that it may be a bit cut off, so you just need to increase the size. Next up, we do have the price ladder. Pretty straightforward. It works very similar to that order ticket. The only thing difference here is you do have some default order buttons right here, and you do get price levels as well. So let's enter in our contract. We'll stick with ES again. Let's make it a bit bigger, my window. As you can see, you do get the different price levels and it is visually represented. You do get a mini chart and you do have your bid and ask sizes. 
This is nice for traders who do need to see some depth in the market. This works very similar to a dome. As you may have seen on other platforms, this platform does have a dome as well, which is more advanced. But because you do need to pay for the dome, we currently don't have that. This is on a demo, so just keep that in mind. So we'll only stick with the price ladder for now. If you are trading on Quick Screen Trading Pro or do have one of the more pricier versions or more advanced versions, you may have the dome so you can execute there as well. Now for this, it is quite simple. Again, you just need to enter in the contract on the top left. Once you do, this will automatically all populate with data. So you have your positions, the average price, the high, the low, any change, and then profits and loss and things such of that nature. Now, as you can see, you do have the ability to flatten or reverse at the market of the position or the symbol that we currently have determined on our price ladder. You also have quick buttons for things such as buy markets, buy limits, and then sell limits and sell markets. These are determined and corresponded by red and blue sections. So again, your buy is represented by blue, red represented by sells. Now you also have the option to cancel all your buys, cancel all your sells, or just cancel all in general. If you do want to enter in a trade at a specific price level, I suggest just left clicking on that price level in the platform will automatically configure itself to configure your order preview window, the window we have here, to the price level that you clicked at. And depending on the side or the price level you did click at, it'll automatically determine the smartest or the proper order type to place in that situation. If you wanna just go with the market price, you can just click market and it'll enter in everything for you. Again, I clicked above the market price, so it automatically entered in a stop for me at the available price. I clicked that. If you wanted to do a limit, we can click below the market um, on the corresponding buy or sell side, and it'll automatically configure this for us. Just to show you how easy this is, again, we're pretty much from, pretty familiar with this window from the order ticket as we experienced before. Once we click yes, you just get that order confirmation, and it'll automatically enter it for you. Just to show you real quick, if you wanted to, you can also use the order ticket here as well. So as you saw, I clicked on the price level. If I wanted to, I can click on the order ticket and it'll bring open my order ticket once again and automatically configure all the necessary parameters for me. That way I can just go ahead and trade directly from here. This is a good option if you're trading options. So if you wanted to, for whatever reason, have your price level and then go in here and enter in your call and puts or whatever the case may be, this is the option for you. Now, continuing on, let's scroll down on our toolbar here on the left hand side. You can also use the trade ticket to place trades. Pretty much the same thing as before. This really just depends on personal preference on how you want to go forward. We'll need to just set our contract here. Same thing as before. Everything is set up for us. We just need to enter in the quantity, the price, of course, your order type. Let's go back to limit just so we can see. And then we do have your order time or your lifetime, which is a order duration. If you didn't have a limit parameter, you could fill that out here. So stop limits or stops, we'll need to fill out our different levels here. Well, again, we'll stick with market. And then finally, you do have the mode, which is your buy or sell side. Feel free to click as you need. Again, you get this order preview window. We'll create another video in the future. I believe it is possible to bypass this to just place trades with one click. For now, we'll keep with the default. You click yes, click yes one more time. And as you can just see, the order will place for us. Now the final method I know of actually placing a trade on this platform, and again, it's all personal preference. At the end of the day, they all accomplish the same thing. But this one will be through the chart. We'll open up our chart here, specify the contract. Now with our chart open, you see we do get a mini dome there or your little buy or sell sides on the left here. As you can see, you can click on the corresponding price depending on where your cursor is highlighted, that is the price level the trade will actually be placed at. If you hover over it, you will see that a left click is represents a buy, 
at this specific price and a right click represents a sell and it'll actually place this thought for us so this is how you can trade directly through the chart and is a great method of doing so you have eyes on the market at all times so you can see any market fluctuate fluctuations and you can just go ahead and place your trades directly through here so just to show you let's just place a left click to buy at this specific price it'll open up your order preview window as you may have expected and you're familiar with click yes yes one more time and it'll place your trade for you placing trades is really that simple on qst they make it quite easy to do so and it's pretty consistent across the entire platform if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below or post them on our community community forum we're always willing to give a hand and answer any questions that may be asked if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more qst content and once again thanks for watching